Welcome back, everybody. Back in it with Viney of Isaac Repentance. Continuing on Save File 3 today, and we are going to uh, play Samson. Readjusted my mic a little bit, so maybe it sounds a bit more uh, clearer and louder. And uh, we get a lucky first treasure room here. Uh, stem cells is okay. HP for him is actually pretty good, so I mean... Samson's main goal is here is to take damage and giving us more HP to work with to take more damage is overall a good thing. I think we're going to go investigate this curse room here. Contract from below. That's a huge to start out with in the very first four. We like to see early consumable rates to be increased. Honestly, taking damage like this with Samson is probably going to help us more in the speed terms than uh, actually, you know, being flawless in the run. Being faster right now is kind of important since we don't have boss rush done for Samson, so we want to get that out of the way as soon as possible. Because the more things limiting us in a run kind of limits our options later in runs. Because, like, later on if I'm playing Samson and I still haven't gotten boss rush done, I'm probably going to sacrifice something I could have done in the run to go get boss rush done instead. Because you don't always want to go for boss rush in a run. Sometimes you're going to want to spend more time in the earlier fours to maximize resources or uh, potentially even break the run. Because 20 minutes is... Kind of the, a hard timer to beat. Well, not really. 20 minutes isn't that hard, but it definitely limits your uh, capacity to do things. Now, the hutch timer, which is 30 minutes, is a lot easier to beat. And honestly, you can spend a lot of time doing whatever on the two womb floors before you go fight hutch. But boss rush is kind of a limiting factor. So we want to get that knocked out of the way as soon as possible. We get Binky. Tears up. Soul heart. Pretty good for the next four. Not a lot of sacrifice or HP to a temperance machine. Or perhaps even a devil judgment. We have another curse room here. But I want to get some more uh, soul hearts before I do anything like that. Especially now because I would take damage. And that's not a good thing. We want to get our devil rooms. Or even angel rooms perhaps. If we... uh. Aren't so lucky on the first double room here. So far, not too bad of uh, first fours. HP and a coin. I mean, that's not too bad if we can get some bombs. Got our next treasure room here. All right. Contract from below, getting us more consumables. Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby's actually okay. If you can get uh, BFF with him, I think it does increase his flies. Like, um, the size of them. So it makes them into the big fly, I think. And they do do more damage. I believe. Uh, oh, yeah. We don't have any keys. We have two bombs now, though. And this really looks like the secret room without looking at any of the other rooms. It's not. Okay. We're going to check out the arcade. We unlocked the game, kid. That's not bad. We're going to actually sacrifice a lot of our HP here because... One, we just got a soul heart, so that works out in our favor. And also because it'll make us do more damage, which means we're probably going to take less damage on the boss. We get balls of steel as well, so we're going to sacrifice the rest of our HP. And we don't have any more bombs, so we're going to continue onwards here. So the curse room isn't there. I'm going to assume maybe it's to the right or left here of the treasure room. Hitting these buttons a lot of times makes enemies spawn. But, you know, I've gotten consumables out of it before. So it's sometimes worth. But not so much this time. But our damage is looking really good. So clearing them out doesn't take too much time. Take out these guys first. Hopefully we can get a, some of our HP back here. We can go back to that Devil Judgment. He might be able to get us something pretty good. Uh, 
Alrighty. This will be a really fast boss kill. He does not have a lot of HP. A range upgrade, which is okay. And it's not really my favorite thing to get. And I don't think I'm going to grab either of those. Fortunately, they're not really good enough. Not that, you know, more soul hearts or uh, the little horn isn't bad. It's just, you know. Right now, we're kind of playing on the the terms of we still want to be taking damage and sacrificing our permanent raw HP is going to harm us more if we aren't able to actually sacrifice it. So we're going to try and keep our heart containers. It's a good room. Something you should probably going to do is run diagonally to get through these spikes. You don't actually have to fly to get through these. But, you know, you could be like me and you could still take damage from it. If you uh, so feel like it. Done that for, you know, years and here we are still taking damage from the spikes. But it's okay. We're on half a heart. We'd like to heal. We're going to get some health here. We get plenty of money as well, but no keys. Oh, control bombs. Okay, yeah, we're getting plenty of bombs though. The super secret room could be on the left or top there, the boss room. But, um, we really need a key. And I don't know where the secret room is yet. More bombs. This does seem a little suspicious. I'm going to bomb this. Mm, it's not it. Okay, we get a little bit more of our HP back. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable now. And we get two keys. Contract from below is really helping us out here. Because if we did not have contract there, we would not have gotten two keys. And we won't be able to we wouldn't be able to open both the shop and the uh treasure room here. Which would be a little sad. We haven't taken any actual damage yet, so we still have an equal chance to get our uh devil room and angel room. Yeah, number one. Um, it's not bad. Overall, I think it's a good take. Um, Devil's all blue flies and spiders. I wonder if that applies to Rotten Baby. Because if it applies to Rotten Baby, that's not bad per se. But converting all our pickups into flies and spiders is a little risky. Hmm. We're going to take it. We're going to see what happens. We take the bag as well. And we're going to see how much value we can get out of this. The reason I say it's risky... By the way, for uh, compost is because I'm going to be a greedy goblin, more than likely, and I am going to probably get too zany with my plays with compost and lay off too low of HP. Uh, it doesn't seem like it actually doubled our rotten baby flies, which is a little sad. I would have liked to see double flies coming out of them. And Curse of the Lost, which is a little annoying. We just have to keep track of where we're at. Might be a little bit harder for me to do while I'm talking, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. Gotta get a little bit more HP, though. That's kind of our main problem right now. Um, we grab one key, and then we turn the rest into flies and spiders. Honestly, though, we... We have Yara Rune unlocked, right? Oh, but we don't have Blank Card yet. I was thinking maybe we could uh, do a Yara Rune play, but we uh, unfortunately don't have that stuff unlocked. We can create a lot of flies doing that. 
Oh, that hit me. That's annoying. Contract from Will kind of synergizes pretty well with compost, though. Grab our HP. Get a pill. Pheromones. Good to know. Same room again. Man. Relentless. What just gave me HP there? Uh, was it perhaps Bloodlust? Does Bloodlust do that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Or was... I Actually, I think it's Old Bandage. Hold on. Um, we still have it on there? We don't. Uh, we have Monster's Lung. Uh, I actually rather like Monster's Lung. It's basically his uh, tear attack where he just spits out a bunch of tears. I think at first it's not as good, but as you uh, maybe get more tier effects, it can turn out to be a really good item. I know one of my favorite things to do with Monster's Lung is to get Brimstone, because you will fire out that many Brimstones as well. Ooh, we get the Devil Room, and a Dark Bomb, Black Powder, Missing Page. Now, while those are nice, again, we kind of need our raw HP more than we need those items specifically. Now, if Brimstone was in there, well, I'm taking Brimstone. No doubt about it. We're just taking a lot of damage, but yeah, I believe it's Old Bandage that is giving us our HP back. Okay, we have plenty of consumables now, so if it's not money, we should probably uh, turn it into flies. We do this, and then we turn those guys into flies. Or spiders. So aggressive. Where's he at? There he is. Uh, we got the treasure room item. We didn't check the shop. Where? Oh, there's the shop. Oh, yeah, it was greed. That's why I forgot that we, uh, didn't actually check. We did check the shop. It's just it was greed. Really fast kill. That's why I like Monster's Lung. Especially with number one here, it's actually pretty effective because Monster Lung already kind of shortens your range. So it kind of negates the, like, debuff of getting number one. Kind of a decent combo overall. Kind of a early game good synergy. It's kind of annoying that we're taking damage, but... Uh, old bandage is actually kind of making up for it. I gotta keep my eye out for tinted rocks. We're getting so close to small rock, I can feel it. We're gonna bomb these guys. Get a dark heart out of it. That's pretty nice. Would have liked that earlier and before taking a hit. Redollar bill. That's actually pretty good. I bet if we get the right tiers, I mean, we could just turn Monster's Lung into a one-shot. Very interesting. This is actually turning out to be a pretty powerful run overall. Nope. They're going to steal my battery charge. Oh no, you you asshole. Well, we may as well. We don't have a trinket, so. And we're taking plenty of damage as is. Wait, we just we can't run out of HP apparently. Uh, where is that shop? Oh, there's a tented rock. 
Uh, Child Leech doesn't really help us. Hmm. Could take Mystery Gift. We got the Joker card, though. We're gonna use it. Joker. Act of Contrition. Here up. One Eternal Heart. Allows Angel Rooms to spawn even after taking a Devil Deal. Taking Red Heart damage doesn't reduce the Devil Room day. Okay, as much. I kind of wish I had more keys right now. Okay. These uh these go as long as you uh, keep getting an item out of them, but I guess the fly doesn't count. So we're gonna compost them. And then we're gonna take mystery gift. And we're gonna try really hard in here not to take any damage. And then hopefully we get the angel room still. We go back in there. We use Mystery Gift, and we get an Angel Room item. Okay, it's not exactly what happened, but... It's okay, we can hold on to this guy. Another Tinted Rock right there? Oh, you asshole. I should have bombed it first, honestly. Bad play. Wars have been easy so far, though. We're maintaining our HP even though we're taking damage. Old Bandage is kind of to thank for that. It's really been clutch. Q-Baby. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I don't hate Q-Baby. And it brings us close to the Conjoined Transformation. The only problem with Q-Baby is he'll just kind of get lost off the side of the screen, especially in bigger rooms. Like, if you're fighting Hush, you'll never see this guy again. He's going to fly into the corner and you're never going to see him. Oh, it was worth. We got HP out of it. Donation machine. Reminds me that we should be donating more. Another big thing we got to do and keep up on long term is getting the donation machine maxed out. Because once it's maxed out, we don't have to care about actually adding money to it and we can even take money from it from by bombing it no tinted rocks in here come on mom hurry up ah oh, it's a skeleton hand I thought it was going to be a normal hand wish we had flight for that room Another Tinted Rock? A lot of Tinted Rocks down here. Two of Diamonds? Oh. There's no... Oh. Hmm. Are we going to get any value out of it? So this is the red champion mom. I think that means she'll never open those doors and she's just going to stomp me. This is like the easiest version of mom. Get the devil room. That's nice to hear. We get too spooky, which is uh, already much the worst thing it could have been, basically. That's not true. It could have been a lot worse. So this is the teleport remote that lets you teleport to anything, I believe. Angel room. I don't know what that last room is. What is that last room? Is that the uh, super secret room or the I am air room? It's probably the I am air room. It kind of looks like the dude, right? We do have to clear boss rush here. Otherwise, I would have just teleported out of this room after grabbing the item. Oh, <laughs> those tears were big. Wow. I don't even think we can really die here. We're going to keep getting HP from old bandage, right? Maybe I should have taken Dark Bum.
Oh well, it's okay. Either way, we're kind of surviving. Like big rooms like this, you just don't get a lot of value out of cute baby. Smaller room, sure. You also can be hard to aim, as you can see. Get boogered. Got a justice card up there. Oh, poor Duke of Flies. We're doing massive amounts of damage. Ooh, this guy's name is The Stain, right? Kind of used to scare me back in the day, too. Trying to get him as low as possible. There we go. Okay. So much HP, like, we can't die, basically. How would we? on out. I just want to kill you. You have quite the build. $3 bill has honestly just been really strong for us recently. Sometimes it's not that strong, but we've been getting really good builds for it. Probably not the best tier effect for Monster's Lung. Kind of felt like I was doing less damage there. That was fast. That last fly moves along walls with obstacles in the room. Deals 30 contact damage. Let's see. I probably picked it up before. Uh, yeah, I think I have. Uh, it's, it's meh. So, we're just going to move on to the next floor to keep time going. But, uh, a, I think we can pretty easily get into the I Am Air room. So far, really easy run. I definitely can't complain. Again, if we're lucky, I think we could use uh, the I Am Air Room to kind of get into the chest or the dark rooms. But we'll see. I don't know if the game's actually gonna let us do it. I just know you can do it after the fact. Like after you unlock them. But I'm assuming they're already kind of there since seeds exist. And obviously your unlocked state isn't bound to seeds. All right. There's the boss room. So the order is going to be... It's going to teleport me to any active rooms. And then arena rooms. And then treasure rooms. Boss room. Devil rooms. And then I am air room, I think. But basically, I just have to make sure I get into everything. And if there's a... Uh, Boss arena room. That's a little unfortunate. 
Because we're definitely not going to get in there. Without the uh, remote. But we might get an item out of it anyways. So it's kind of worth. I just want to get into the I am error room. Not ice effect is so strong. That's why I love Freezer Baby. The cube does the same thing, but you gotta kick him into it. Which is obviously a lot less convenient than aiming with an orbital. I hate this guy. Freaking repentance enemies. Oh, he's gotta be so annoying. Check out the curse room. I saw balls of steel pill, so this is a dub. So there's a heart in here? Or did I pick it up? I must have picked it up. Right when I went into the curse room, old bandage spawned one. I heard that glug noise as I entered, I mean, exited the curse room there. So I'm assuming that's probably what that was. Man, this fort just keeps going. Oh, we're close to the uh, puberty transformation. This chest and soul heart. Yeah, we're getting like no items from golden chests. I'm assuming you have to unlock basically all those. Golden chests are actually a good source of items as well. It's just we don't have anything unlocked apparently, so we're not really getting anything. The mothers. We might not have any arenas on this floor, which might make it really easy to get into the I am air room. But we gotta get the devil room as well, which we have a very low chance of. Wrong run though. Overall. Nothing to really complain about. Now, I gotta find the secret room, too, but not the ultra secret room, I think. Where would the secret room be? It's gonna teleport me in that, right? Hmm. This is gonna be the ultra secret room, right? Yeah. That one was obvious. The secret room is actually kind of more hidden. Is it maybe on the left here? I know they could be side by side. It's not. It's gonna be a room that's probably surrounded on three sides. It's looking promising. Maybe? It's not. Walking into freaking spikes. It looks like there's already a bomb there, yeah. Maybe on the right here? There we go. There's chaos in there. <laughs> Can't get to it, though. So, with this, it should put us in the double room. I believe. Or the angel room. Both are good. Now, the wafer is kind of huge. Make sure that we actually only ever take half damage now. So, half hearts is the only damage we'll be taking. Which is really nice, especially for Samson, who builds up his damage. Kind of like something if you get on the first floor of, in a Samson run, you're kind of set. You're not going to lose. Okay, I, I can do this now. See, I'm not taking full heart of damage, even though this is the womb. Yeah, I'm getting my HP back from old freaking bandage over here. It's really strong.
We might come back for that ivy bag. I don't know when we unlock Hush. Maybe it's after like 10 kills, just like uh, Blue Baby is. I would like to start fighting Hush though. I had some runs here where I definitely would have beat him. Oh, it's not like Hush is actually that hard. Hardest boss in the game? It's probably uh, either Delirium or uh, Mother. Right? Not even the true final boss is actually that difficult. It's just a side scroller, basically. Dogma is kind of hard, right? Although, this is kind of my outdated memory of when Repentance came out like two years ago. Like, those are actually hard bosses. Like, I I'm sweating when they come out. Even on good runs. Unless it's like an absolutely broken run. And then I laugh. Don't worry, my time will come to be uh, gamed on again by them. Monkey paw? That, uh... We still haven't gotten a freaking an item from Wishbone. <laughs> What's going on with that? I do have to wonder, though. Does Wishbone take up after uh, the room you're in? So, like, if I took damage in the angel room, would he give me an angel room item? That'd be kind of cool. Ow. Okay. My tears are slowed. I'm assuming I have, like, Polly or something. Is a boss in here? Pin? It's not really a boss. Some of these enemies survive hits down here more than Pin does. Double golden key. That's just a flex at this point. Uh, we can't even test if there's hush because we already passed the 30 minute mark, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure there's a way to break into hush even though you didn't unlock it. I think you just... Oh, there's our item. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I didn't realize it was being sucked in. Uh, it's a spacebar item, which I don't really want. It's kind of lame. All that waiting, and I get nothing for it. Ah! This looks like the super secret room, right? Nope. <laughs> That's all the rooms. Oh, did he just shoot me? You butt face. Super secret room, maybe? I mean, not super secret, secret room. But no, it's not. Where is the secret room? Not here. It's not here, right? I already bombed that. Oh, no, I didn't. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna get thrown into the uh, the boss arena room here, which is kind of sad because I definitely don't want to go in there. But you know what I could do? I grab the IV bag, I lower my health to one, and then I walk in there. This is a dumb play. For very minimal gain. Spider, stop! Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Well, that's what happens when you uh, play with fire. We're gonna do another Samson run, though. 
I should have just taken my wins where I got them. But we should have two mercs now on our uh, card. Oh, wait. Mom is an actually... Yeah. Mom's not actually a card. Mark. Only mom's heart. But we did beat mom. I really gotta stop fucking around there. Because we gotta get our mom hard skill. But... We are doing nicely on progress otherwise. Honestly, I'm almost thinking about letting them hit me just so I can speed up this room. I should have just freaking killed uh, Bomb's heart and went, oh, well, looks like we're not getting the I am error room or angel room. That's disappointing. But we get 8 inch nails. 8 inch nails is a huge item to get early on. Big damage increase. As you can see, it's uh, pretty strong in conjunction with our uh, bloodlust. We have spider mod. You like spider mod. We don't have any bombs to get money. There's a nickel behind that one rock. I was thinking about grabbing spider mod. I don't know if the game's going to let us. Get Han as our first boss, which is always lame. Really easy to kill him, though, with this much damage. Nice. We old bandage again. It's like it was meant to be. It's like, hey, we know you were an idiot in the last run, but here's another solid. We owe you for that uh, one series of really unlucky runs. If we get Monster Manual and Book of Sin, we're going to take uh, Book of Sin over Monster Manual. This is just going to get us consumables, and that's going to help us out a lot. Monster Manual lets you uh, basically spawn monsters for the four. Well, I should say babies that follow you. Which is pretty good. But, uh... We're kind of low on the bombs, and we're kind of low on consumables in general in every run early on, so... Focus is probably going to help us out more, in my personal opinion. Because we definitely have damage already sorted out. Dude, hold still. Those guys are so annoying sometimes. Belly button. I mean, this is alright. There's some good combos that you can get from carrying two trinkets. Pot gave us a bomb. We like to see that. We're gonna get this golden chest. Definitely worth. We got a bomb out of it. We're just gonna use a bomb on the Duke of Wise here. Just get him out of the way. They don't really look bigger. Maybe they are slightly bigger. Got a piece head. Do we take Spirit of the Night, though? The fight would be nice. We're gonna take it. And we're gonna take Book of Sin back. Oh, 
Okay, we're working our way towards the guppy transformation. Maybe, uh, maybe taking Spirit of the Night might be a bad idea in the end. Because we do gain the ability to fly with the, uh, guppy transformation. All we'd really be getting is the Spectral Tears, which are not that useful, but they're alright. Oh, we died. Okay, we're gonna get kicked out of that room, but we grab the, uh, pill here. Grab a health up. That's huge. Would have been nice to have that before. Jeez, man. Don't kill me again. I need to be hiding in walls or something. Not really making it easy to do that, though. These empty rooms. I'm not going to take that yet in case it's like bad trip or something. I swear, man, that room's like, it's, it's always the same, but it scares me every time. We have some good stuff in here. Kind of want the battery. Thought I saw a tinted rock. I did not. Odd mushroom. Could be good. Could be good. Could be good. And we get a uh, double room here. It's cramped as so. well. That's kind of sucks. Stop, man. Kill. Um, do we take Krampus's head now? I mean, we're kind of good on consumables, so I think we take it. It's gonna help us kill bosses pretty fast as well. Alright, how about we just kill this guy real quick? All manages. We already know what's in the room. We already checked. Um, let's go check out the curse room real quick. Maybe we get something cool out of that. Cur curse die. Okay. I swear. It just keeps popping up. I don't want you. And there's not many that do. I feel like this is super secret room. I'm just gonna bomb it. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Uh, we already have boss rush done, so we're not really in a rush to get to that. It is nice to get if it's a good item in there, but uh, otherwise, it's kind of just a liability a lot of the times. Added challenge for the run. Pretty easy room so far, though. We'd use the bomb there would be pretty convenient. Speed up the room. Man, I wish I still had the wafer. So nice to always get the wafer. We're gonna bomb him. Do you get coins out of it? And it also does increase our double rim chance, which is always nice. Thinking maybe we grab the compass.
a full card. It'll be a free uh, double room check. Uh, ball tire hot bombs. Um, I guess we take ball tire. I'm not really the biggest fan of like bomb effects, unless you have like Doctor Fetus. Is this a secret room by chance? Nope. But how? Nope, not about that one. I didn't see that it was a little pit there. Nope, wasn't paying attention. Probably should do that. Again, it's kind of okay for us to take damage. We really benefit off of it more than anything. Lemon party. Get away from me. You guys are annoying because they get close to you like that and then they'll charge. They don't leave a lot of room for you to actually dodge. Hmm. <laughs> Is this by chance the secret room? No. What? Super secret room, right? <laughs> it's easier to find the super secret room than it is to freaking find this uh secret room. What's up with that? I'm gonna go over and grab the compass, and then we're gonna fight the boss. Oh! I didn't mean to pick up that heart. I'd been so sad if I didn't have enough money. There's a secret room. It made sense when I was walking by it. I was like, that's gotta be it, though, right? Oh, a champion peep. He's looking extra pissy today. Honestly, this sprite's kind of disturbing. Feels like his uh, eyes are moving faster. He yeah, looks like he's got like less HP, maybe. We get a speed upgrade. I'm okay with that. I probably should use Grams to set it there to speed it up, but we didn't take damage anyways. Hmm, get a judgment in there. Grab that. Put a key back. There's a tinted rock there. Do that. Get a star's card. We're gonna do that. Hmm. Well, obviously we're gonna get Sagittarius. Racing shots are pretty nice. Okay, shooting in this room is kind of annoying. Do they always suck in your tears? I can't remember. I can don't typically have that. Okay, you just trap me in the corner. That's annoying. Of course, like sometimes they just like aim for you, even though I know they're just bouncing around in a linear pattern. What an exhilarating enemy to hunt. We got another speed upgrade. Fine by me. 
Let's just get through the levels faster. Okay. We charged at me to make sure I take damage. Ooh, we got the pact in here, though. That's kind of huge. Another damage increase. Honestly, we have really solid, like, base tiers here. Feels like we're just kind of missing fire rate. Did that grab me? What? I was totally to the left, right? Champion belt. Always worth taking. I do appreciate more damage. I don't appreciate being damaged, though. I did not mean that kind of damage. Grayson Tears makes it really easy to kill these guys, though. Secret room? Aha! I'm so smart! Ow! You're not supposed to fire back. You're supposed to just let me kill you. Pretty easy monster to fight. And we get a tier upgrade like we wanted. Not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like we are going to make boss rush at this rate, especially since we have compass. All the rooms are right next to each other as well. guy's gonna split on the two on death or not I thought that was the guy that splits in the two maybe it's not guaranteed that was unnecessary okay I didn't know that could open the door to home with bombs Interesting. Good to note. Good to note. I'm going to stop sacrificing all my HP. We're going to stop right there. Amnesia. Amnesia. Doesn't even matter. We know where everything is. I'm going to make that a rule now. We're not going under 2 HP on uh, health sacrifices anymore. Then we get good. Really no reason to be as risky as we're being. Get our health back. Any cool books? No, they all look about the same. <laughs> that kind of reminds me, where's the, um... Uh, where's the, uh, dressing station been? As far as I'm aware, it used to always be, like, on the, uh, most of the time. On the uh, first room of the four. I haven't seen it at all. Did they get rid of it? I mean, you could always bomb it and get pills out of it. Maybe they considered that OP. Or maybe I have to unlock it. Ghost pepper is good. It's a really good item. You get the habit. That's huge. Isaac. 
pretty quick mom fight. Are we getting double room? Uh, we could become Guppy. And unlock Guppy's hairball, which is kind of a poopy item. But now we will spawn uh, flies based on how fast we shoot, which is very, very cool. There's number one, which is interesting. And then there's also dry baby, which is really good. I think we take dry baby. It's gonna be one of those cases where I actually do do boss rush just because the items were good. Not gonna happen every time. Yeah, you see we're just kind of unloading flies. Doing pretty crazy damage though. Yeah, look at the flies. I mean, that's just crazy. This dude's not ready for this. We're actually pretty powerful. I told you, Ghost Pepper's OP. It's just a really good item. We are just cleaning house. This is a really powerful build. Goodbye, Husk. There's neck. There's the uh, dry baby coming into effect. Good job, dry baby. Well, that was that was quick. That was a good one. This might be our strongest run yet, honestly. The guppy transformation is also just putting in a lot of work. Well, we do it. We're definitely strong enough. We also have fruitcake now, which is going to increase our DPS by a lot as well. That was rude of you, Pin. This room is up there. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Dry baby just kind of cleared this. <laughs> That's cheating, dry baby. You can't do that. These are not the guys that hit you. I hope I get the fight hush. This would be kind of cool. be a really interesting run to use it on. I was really hoping that wouldn't hit me. <laughs> As you see, Guppy is just a really strong transformation overall. Just building up these flies like nothing. You don't even have to think about it. Just hit the enemies and you get them. money equals power which is a solid dps increase as we get more money here we don't actually have that much money so it's not all crazy not very crazy i guess it's up we're not gonna like try and clear every room here why did he teleport what was that was he a champion is there a champion that does that bro almost got me Okay, one just dropped a bunch of cards. What the fuck? Get the 
Secret room here. Break these, break these. More damage. We like it. We got the Iwaz. <laughs> Didn't even get to attack. We don't get to fight Hush, but we do get to fight Satan. And fighting Satan is a good pastime. Satan is up here. We're not going to spend any time fucking around here. We're, we're just going to go kill him. We don't have the HP to be fucking around. Uh, What are you doing, man? Come after me. Uh, I'm gonna bomb these guys. Just maybe I get some soul hearts out of it. I heard one. Okay. One more hit is better than nothing. Ooh. Okay, this is gonna be a skeleton hand more than likely. Stay away from it. There's another one? No, it's just the flies. Uh, this is not the way to go. Any tinted rocks, though? Doesn't look like it. Could have been some hinted, uh, hidden ones, though. There are tinted rocks that are, like, don't actually have markings, and then they, like, lead to a passageway. I don't think we've found any of these in our new runs in Save File 3 here. Bro got turned to poop. Yeah, we're gonna go fight him. The devil. And we're just not fucking around here. Uh yeah, we gotta keep moving around. Okay, we won. Woo! That was that was that was close. I didn't like that. Oh, hey, we did it. That was a good Samson run. We must be getting close on uh killing mom's heart 10 times though. We get blood rights. All right, we're doing pretty good. Getting a little bit of everybody done over time here. I think our next main character we got to work on here is Maggie. Get her a uh, Satan kill and boss rush kill. Eve is next as well. And Lazarus. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace.